Outside Vale Park, and with Craig McGilvery. Craig, I want to talk specifically about that save. Uh, our, our defender, Jason Lowe, comes running in. I'm, I'm like, because I've logged the games, so on my camera reaction, I'm like, I've never seen a save like it. Like, Jane, that's the best save I've ever seen. Can you talk us through what's going through your head at that point? Uh, not a lot, to be honest. The ball's come across. I've seen I've seen him run onto it, and I just thought he's, he can only go one way. Throw yourself to the side, and unfortunately, I saved it, yeah. What's your reaction when you save that? Because you, you've got to know in your head that that's potentially a game-winning save. Well, it was, wasn't it, at the time, yeah. until the penalty came mm. around. So, yeah, wish it was for three points, but... Mm end of the day that's football how are you feeling after that soccer punch it must be hard for you to take you know a penalty it's a good penalty as well you don't really stand a chance no a pen's a pen isn't it so at the end of the day you go one way you either have a chance of saving it or you don't and I don't know if it's I generally from my angle don't know if it was or wasn't a penalty um, but referees, referees deemed it to, to be a penalty so it is what it is are the team a bit deflated after that you, you, I mean you've got to be after a nice you have. It's, last minute, it's a last minute goal isn't it so to get be on the verge of getting three points and then not having it and getting a point, yeah, it's caused the soccer punch. But we have to dust ourselves down now and go again on Tuesday. I'm sure that's one of the one of one of your saves to put in your highlight reel. Possibly, yeah, yeah. Like, I know, I know what I'm capable of. Like, it doesn't surprise, it doesn't generally surprise me that I've made that sort of save. Um, I've been in the game long enough now and made those sorts of saves. So, yeah, but it is nice, yeah. Craig, thank you, matey. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'm joined with Ethan Chisler. Ethan, it didn't look good. The, the fact, that, sorry, no, the first half was good, very, very good. I'm sure you can agree. But then the second half didn't look good at all, and we managed to rescue a point. Talk us through how you're feeling after that. Um, yeah, I think, I think to be honest, I said it on the pitch. Like, if it felt like the, the veil of, of the first half of the season, I think um, I always felt like we were going to get back into the game, whether it be a little bit of luck, maybe, which which ended, it ended up being. Um, yeah, I felt like. I felt like we were always going to get back into the game, so thankfully we did. Is that it? Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, you got your Man of the Match award and you, you don't seem too happy, mate. Cheer up, do you think you deserved it? Yeah, no, you know, I just I, I just felt my hamstring a bit coming into the game and stuff like that, and it's just tightened up a bit, so... Um, obviously buzzing to, get the, buzzing to get the Man of the Match, but... Um, We'll see how it settles down, I think, my hamstring. Talk us through first half, about half an hour into the game. Looked like you've got an elbow to the head. The uh, referee didn't see it and then so what happened, so listening to his ear, whoever's speaking to him in his ear. The, the lad who did it got a yellow card. What actually happened? Yeah, I think he spoke He spoke to me. I had it, I had it twice. He spoke to me after and um, I think it was a bit of a cynical one because I've obviously there's space in behind and I've obviously he's realised that and so have I. Um, and I think I probably... <laughs> I, prob I probably fancied myself in a race against him, so um, yeah, he's brought me down. Luckily, the f I think the fourth official saw it. So, Ethan, how's the change room feeling after that? Um, I'd, I'd be lying to say that it wasn't a bit of relief in there. Um, obviously, we we haven't had the best of runs, um, so hopefully we can kick on now and 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 do something this part of the season. Ethan, thanks for your time, Thank matey. You, Thank, Thank you. you. Right, I'm joined with Jensen. We at Jensen, a hard fought win and surely one we can be proud of. Uh, sorry, a hard fought draw, but surely one we can be proud of. Yeah, no, it's it's positive, pointing out in the right direction, so it felt like a win, but something to build on looking forward. First time I spoke to you on camera since uh, since your loan move, how have you felt how have you settled in? Good, yeah, I'm enjoying it, it's been good. Uh, all the boys have been sounding me and stuff and starting to get on the pitch, it's nice, yeah, starting to find my feet. How's that dressing room after that penalty? You know, it's 97th <coughs> minute. It's got to be relief, joy, everything you can think. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's a way back into the game, so everyone was buzzing. Oh, no. <laughs> That's it. Hello. Am I okay to grab you? you just wait 30 yeah. seconds. Wait there, lad. Just wait there. Thank you. Um, <coughs> yeah, no, it was um good to get a point, and uh, I think we deserved it definitely at a minimum. I think we deserved the win to be honest, but uh, just a little bit slow at the start of the second half. But apart from that, it was positive. How do you believe you played? Uh, okay, uh, it's, it's, start, it's a step in the right direction, but still got a lot more to come. I think I can affect the goal more and um, just a bit more cleaner on the ball, but definitely positive. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you, matey. No worries, mate. Right, I'm joined with Cast Casper Lapata. Casper, you know, well done on your debut, full debut for Vale. Uh, I just want to say, great performance. How do you how do you feel you played? Uh, I think we've done all right in the first half. Obviously, gave away two cheap goals. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, at this at this time in the season, it's about results, and you know, at least we got a point out of it, which is the main thing. 
you know, the first time I've been able to speak to you off, uh, sorry, on camera since you've made the made the loan move to Vale. So just like I asked Jensen, how have you settled in? Yeah, very nice. The boys are brilliant. Um, you know, move been, over for a car. <laughs> they've been they've been really good to me. I uh, feel at home. You know, I'm staying not far from here with a couple of the other boys, and you know, I'm loving every minute so far. And a lot of Barnsley fans have said that you know they're sad or they're disappointed that you've gone even just for half a season. So the best you can, can you talk us why why you decided to make the move? Um, you know, got you know, I started the season really well. I was playing and got injured and didn't get back in the team. And I think at my age, it's about playing and developing. But also here, I want to win. You know, which is the main thing. Casper, that dressing room must be buzzing after that. It's the 97th minute minute equaliser. More relief than anything, as Ethan said, but I'm sure there must be some joy yeah, in there. I think, you know, I think that's what we deserve from the game. You know, the boys kept pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, and, you know, I, th I think we deserve that least a point. But listen, Steve and the Jar where they are because they're good at what they do. And, you know, you, you can't, you know, we can't hide from the fact that we considered two, two poor goals. But at the end of the day, it's a point. Can you talk us through that second one in particular? You know, the first one, it's one of them. It's back post. He's, what, six foot three, six foot four. It is one of them goals that you, you know you concede sometimes, but that second one, in my opinion, it was a bit of a sloppy goal to concede, and I'm sure you know as a team you can self-analyze yeah, and, and yeah, realize that yourself. It's not, you know, it's not about pointing anyone out because I think at that point the camera unfortunately cut out, but we managed to get the situation sorted. But a massive thank you for Casper for taking the time to stop, nonetheless, and I apologize that he was halfway through answering his question. Right, I'm joined with the man of the moment, Funzo Ojo. Funzo, I'm gonna get straight to the point. You're stepping up 97th minute. The way, if, you know, it's it's uh, it's to get the bad form out the way. 97th minute penalty. How are you feeling? Um, I was pretty calm because I I had no idea we were that um, close to the end of the game, <laughs> so that kind of helped. And my teammates protected the penalty box, which also helped. And I just went into it very confident. Have you got a pre like? Were you always going to take that penalty in training? Do you practice the penalties? Yeah, I started practicing penalties when I wasn't playing much games at Aberdeen. So I stayed out, stayed out a bit longer than usual. And for this game and the other games, it's usually James Wilson, yeah. Ethan Shizlet and me on the penalty list. And I wasn't the only one left on the pitch, so it was easy. Funter, you know, we started the game very, very well. One of the best performances I've seen Vale put in uh, this season in the first half. Second half, we dropped off a little bit, first 20, 25 minutes. What what happened? That's one of our weak points. I'm, I'm not sure if you noticed in other games, but our opponents usually score in the first 15 minutes of the second half, and that's something we just need to be better at. You know, you, you're sort of a deeper sort of midfielder, so you can sort of align between the midfield and the defensive unit. So I want to talk sp sp specifically about that second goal. I asked Casper, and he said that as a defensive unit, we've got to be better. But what are your thoughts on that second goal? Because a lot, a lot of people were disappointed with the way we conceded that. Yeah, I think the gaps um, became too big. Uh, first half, we went more direct, and second half, they allowed us to play more, which we wanted to do. But I think we just needed to... Um, keep our way of playing like the first half even though I'm more of a, a play a player who wants to play short than a lot of passes in it was working what we wanted to do and we, we changed our game, game style and that gave them a bit of momentum. Thank you. See you soon.